Well, hello there. This is Bhavik from Team Longshot AI, and in this video, we'll be looking at Longshot's newest integration, the Simrush integration. I'm excited, and without further ado, let's get right to it. Well, as you can see, we are on the Longshot dashboard, and to access the Simrush integration, what we do, we open this panel, and under the integrations menu, you see the Semrish integration, you click on it. So after you click on it, this box appears. So what you need to do is uh, you need to enter your email and password. And if you don't have a Semrish account, you can create a free account by signing up. But we do have an account. So let me put in my email and uh, password. Okay, let's log in. Give it a few moments and as you can see this authentication prompt appears what you do you approve so after approving you arrive on the keyword explorer page so this is where the magic happens so you have the keyword research feature and the SERP analysis feature here's the keyword list which we'll get to add in a few moments uh, so the first thing you do you enter your topic and you select your country so let's uh, keep it United States and for the topic, let's choose a, let's choose a generic one, content marketing tips. Let's talk about content marketing tips. Let's search, give it a few moments. Here we go. So this is the volume we have. Uh, this is the keyword difficulty, intent, and these are the results we get. This is the related keywords for content marketing tips. Uh, if you look at the broad match, starting from the very first type, we have broad match keywords. So this is the content marketing tips. You, as you can see, we have the intent, the volume, the keyword difficulty, and if you're into advertising, is the CPC and the competitive density and the results. So you can look at all these results. And since my account is a paid account, I have all these features available. If you're using a free account for SEMrush, you'll have some of the features will be restricted. So if you wish to access all the features, you can upgrade to a paid SEMrush account. So what we can do, we can uh, simply select the keywords which uh, we think are relevant. Let me just choose them. Okay. This is just for reference. I'm not even uh, looking. Okay. Content strategy. Content marketing. And um, let's just add these to the list. So as you can see, keywords saved inside the list. We'll look at the list in just a moment. Let's go back to the Keyword Explorer. As you can see, here's your content marketing tips. If you click over here, you can see your selected keywords. So these keywords will be available inside your long shot editor, which we'll get to in a moment. But first, let's talk about the SERP analysis. Again, we'll do the same thing. Country is the same. Click on search. Give it a few seconds. So as you can see, we have arrived on this page. As you can see, these are the top 20 results for your keyword content marketing tips. So HubSpot takes the number one position. These are all the page authority scores, referring domains, backlinks, and referring IPs. So you can check out the content. You can click on the URL and you'll be redirected to that page. And if you wish to learn more, uh, let's say for instance, let's uh, check out this fifth result. Uh, let's click on backlink. And uh, when you click over here, these are the results you'll see. So these are the different referring domains for this URL. So as you can see, there are 35 backlinks and 17 referring domains. And you can see the active backlinks. And if you want to search for do follow or no follow, you can see that as well. So this is based on the authority score. You can click on it. So these are the results. Uh, if you click on all, you see all the results for this page. 
So this was about the SERP analysis. Again, going back, you can check it out for other URLs as well. So you can totally learn about your competition, what they are doing and how you can create content that does better than them. So let's go back to the keyword explorer. Uh, we did the keyword research and this was the SERP analysis. Now let me take you to the dashboard. Uh, let's go to the blog just to show where the keyword list is placed. Let's uh, open a blank editor. Okay, so we can uh, generate content over here and uh, choosing the niche and as you can see there's an option for SEMrush. You click on it and you see uh, that uh, SaaS marketing was already there. Content marketing tips is the one we chose in the earlier steps. So you can uh, totally use these keywords uh, while creating content on this blog editor. You can use different features like unstuck me. This is like one of my favorite features. So just to give you an idea, let's choose this keyword. As a matter of fact, let's choose this keyword just to show you a small example. You can input the keyword and generate content. Pretty good. So the AI has used this keyword and generated this result. So as you can see, this is the keyword. And uh, this is the result. So this is just one thing you can do. You can do a ton of other things. You can use the standalone features. And there's these features. And uh, of course, you can always uh, look at more options and you can always generate content based on these different features. Uh, but this was the SEMrush integration, but it looks really good. You can totally check it out and uh, start creating content using the SEMrush integration. If you have any doubts or any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. Thank you for watching.